Hello everybody, welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies! Just a couple episodes left at this point. All we have to do are the survival hard mode uh, challenges and then the endless mode challenges for survival, eye zombie, and vase breaker. I also looked into seeing if I can get OBS to record my iPhone screen. It can, but there's a watermark on it, which is extremely distracting. So I don't think that that's going to work. Just based on what I've seen. I guess it's, like, it's possible that if I can find a way to get rid of the watermark, then maybe I'll record it. But it's looking like I may not be able to show off Last Stand uh, Endless. I'll, I'll, I'll do some more digging, because I do want to show it off. And I do want to show off the full Zen Garden. Because I'm not grinding up the money just to get Mushroom Garden and Aquarium Garden. I feel like that's going to take way too long for not nearly a good enough re uh, reward. If you, if you want to see the full Zen Garden, maybe you have to play the game yourself. There you go, PopCap. Give you the free promotional advertising. Might as well give uh, Stinky some chocolate. Should be simple enough. I'm gonna s any fully grown marigolds I have that demand bug spray, I'm gonna sell them. But the ones that are looking for the phonograph to be played for them, I'll play the phonograph for them. Beautiful. All right. You want bug spray, so we're selling you. You want bug spray, so we're selling you. You want bug spray, so we're selling you. And you as well. Cool, we got money again. That's awesome. All right. So now let's head off to survival mode. We'll start with survival daytime. Hard. We'll see how hard it actually is. All right. So I definitely like going, uh... Melon put winter melons. That seems like a good idea to me. Um, gloom shrooms don't work as well with this setup. Maybe I'll go spike rock. Spike rock is actually a pretty decent idea. I can't remember how much sun that we have either, so. Hmm. Maybe we'll go walnut. No, nah, we'll go tall nuts. Uh, what else? I guess we can try Gloom Shroom? I don't- I just think that on hard mode, all of the- there are gonna be too many zombies for garlic to really be able to keep up. They're gonna eat the garlic too quickly. Maybe. I'll try it out. We'll see. You haven't chosen any some- oh! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that we need things like sunflowers. That actually might be important. <laughs> Okay. I don't know- I kept thinking this was last stand. I'm like, I think this will be great. I can just put a bunch of stuff down. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, well then in that case, actually, we're gonna- re <laughs> Okay, so we need sunflowers for sure. Um, I'll get us some potato mines to build up our early game sun production. Uh, what else do we want? I honestly might try going Gloom Shroom. I'm gonna try it, just to see. Uh, maybe we get... Carl Pultz? Maybe? I need, like, a relatively cheap attacking plant. Or maybe a repeater. Yeah, we'll go repeaters, at least at the beginning. And then... Yeah, we'll try Spike Weed and Spike Rock. Let's rock. I'm, an I'm anticipating this will be just very similar to what we did on the easy mode survival challenges, just with more zombies. But I don't anticipate it being terribly difficult. Alright, so we have our first potato mine. He'll take his sweet time moving over there. And again... If this gets difficult enough, we can always shovel away existing plants and replace them with better plants. If we do, like, desperately need winter melons at some point. Which I think, I think if we can get even, like, two winter melons, that'll be really nice. Do, 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 do. I'm 
start going gloom. So that will affect free of the lanes, which will be great. Oh, actually, because we're waking him up, we don't even necessarily need the potato mine down there. Wow. Nice job. Get some spike rocks up and going. I mean, in the earlier stages, the garlic's gonna do just fine. We'll put a potato mine there preemptively as well, just in case we need it. But we probably won't. start encountering gargantuars, this is gonna put a huge, uh, huge damper on our gloom shroom setup, because they'll be able to just smash the garlic out of their way and go right to the gloom shrooms. That won't be very nice. Thus far, though, like, mm, this is going great. second set of garlic there, because eventually we're gonna get some pole vaulting zombies. Not this round, but I'm just, I'm already building up for next ah. round. <laughs> there we go. I'm, again, I'm just gonna keep those two potato mines there. You never... Eh, I probably don't need them anymore. And by that, I mean I definitely don't need them anymore. Oh, here they come. We'll see how the bucket head zombies fare. Oh, no, they're not going to make it. <laughs> Sorry. Although, I suppose if Gargantuars eventually start arriving, we can always fend them off using uh, Spike Rock. We haven't actually... I have never actually shown off how Spike Rock is good against Gargantuars. They're not going to get damaged by it, but it will... A single Spike Rock can stall a Gargantuar for a long time, because the Gargantuar needs to smash a Spike Rock, like, nine times, I think, in order for it to be destroyed. It's the only plant in the game that can survive Gargantuar smashes. Oh, shoot, this is, this is going great. <laughs> I'm gonna put the next spike rock down at the bottom. Oh, I see. Survival hard mode, we got two flags to go through. Not just one. Well, that's fine. Those potato mines are like, man, we haven't had to do anything. This is great. We don't need coffee beans or fume shrooms anymore. We 
can just upgrade them into gloom shrooms in the future rounds. Man, and the you know, I forgot how resilient garlic is. I've been I'm used to playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. I've been playing that casually a lot. And um, garlic in Plants vs. Zombies 2 sucks. Like it has almost no HP. I feel like five bites and they're gone. But in this, man, they survive a long while. Oh man, at this rate, they're, they're, the zombies are dying. Most of the zombies are dying before they even reach the Gloom Shrooms. Because that's how good Spike Rock is. Alright, <laughs> wow. I know that was just the first uh, wave, but still. We're well set up. Oh, I see. We have Digger Zombies and... Catapult Zombies. Okay, okay, this is where it's gonna get a little tricky. Alright, so for this one, we're so we're gonna need to be able to shoot backwards. Or, no, not necessarily. If we put gloom shrooms in the back. Okay. We definitely want pumpkins. I'll get sunflowers just in case. We can get more gloom shrooms. That the gloom shrooms can easily deal with the digger zombies if we put them in the back and have pumpkins. Uh, we'll take umbrella leaves. Did not expect catapult zombies to show up. See if we can get in some uh, winter melons. We also could use magnet shrooms to take down the digger zombies, but that may not be necessary. And just in case... Ooh, we also could use spike weed and spike rock to take out the digger. There's just so many options. I like using gloom shrooms, though. I like that idea a little better. I'll, I will also take split pea, just in case they start arriving earlier than expected. There we go. Oh, shoot, I didn't bring garlic. Hope I don't have to replenish that at any point. Alright. <laughs> we'll upgrade you into a gloom shroom in a bit. But honestly, we still have the second set of garlic behind them, so it doesn't matter extraordinarily. Might as well get more sun production while we're at it. Alright, now I think we can start pulling out our winter melons. There we go. Let's see if the digger zombies try to get through that. We'll also put down umbrella leaves. Oh wait, actually, you know what's gonna happen? The catapult zombies are gonna instantly die when they land on the spike rocks. However, the catapult zombies can show up here and here. In which case, they actually are going... Mm. I see. Okay. I'll have to think about how to deal with that. Okay, I have a, I have a plan on dealing with the, uh, the catapult zombies. There we go. That should be probably our last Gloom Shroom. Because I'm actually going to shovel away you and you. And I'm going to replace those with, you guessed it, Winter Melons. Yeah, so as you can see, Catapult Zombie just popped his tires and instantly blew up, just like the Zombonies. However, now this guy is chucking basketballs at my Gloom Shroom, and I don't like that because I don't want him to kill my Gloom Shroom. 
That's why I put the melon pole there, so he can chuck watermelons at him from a distance. The digger zombie just ate a sunflower, but that's honestly okay. We can replenish our sunflowers pretty easily. And as you can see, once again, Gloom Shrooms to the rescue. Darn you! This is where it would have helped to have Spike Rock in the back rather than uh, the Gloom Shrooms, but eh. I can't help it, I like Gloom Shrooms too much. Put a melon bolt there, just in case we get another uh, catapult zombie that has some funky ideas. I think we can get rid of the umbrella leaves. Of course, if we start getting bungee zombies, that will make things a little more annoying. Oh, you're you're not gonna live, dude. You're in between two gloom shrooms. I'm gonna put pumpkins here preemptively, because I know there are gonna be like pole vaulting zombies in the future who will vault over the garlic. There we go. We have full winter melons in each lane. This is great. So now we don't need to bring winter melons anymore. I can't wait to put spike rocks here and here as well, just to deal with zombonies and catapult zombies for the future. Man, those garlic! So resilient. Big fan of those garlics. Okay, we got balloon zombies. Alright. Was not expecting that, so we can't use cattail because there's no water. So we're either going to need to use cactus or blover. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll take Sunflower. Definitely gonna take Spike Rock again. Definitely want Garlic to replenish those. Definitely want Pumpkin. Don't think we need any more Gloom Shrooms. We should be good on that account. Um, I'll take Cactus. Yeah, why not? I'll take Twin Sunflower as well, because they actually might be kind of useful here. Oh, uh, what else? I, I'm not, I don't need to build the Cop Cannons. That's fine. I'll take Melon Pult. And could take one more. I'll take Blover just in case, honestly. In case like a huge amount of balloon zombies come too quickly for me to do anything about. So I know what we're going to do with the uh, cactus. So cactus in every lane. It's going to be a bit of a tall order, but with twin sunflower... This is actually one situation, survival mode, where twin sunflower actually is kind of useful. So I, I rescind my previous complaint about twin sunflower being absolute garbage. It's not complete garbage. It kind of is in the iPhone version. But... In, in, in the PC Game of the Year edition, it's actually not bad. There we go. More Spike Rock. Everybody is happy. Oh, 
look everybody, I'm using cactus. <laughs> that almost never happens. You know what, I'm gonna start protecting my sunflowers in the back as well. <laughs> I mean, I might as well. Okay, there we go. Balloon zombies are no longer a threat. I cannot believe my garlic have lasted this long. I know this is my second set, but like... They're, they're incredibly resilient little buggers. Cacti are kind of useless outside of this, but eh, I don't care. Oh boy, a Zengar to plant. Wonderful. We're only gonna have six sunflowers on screen, but they're all gonna be twin sunflowers, so that's the fact that we have like having 12 sunflowers. It's gonna be great! I mean, long term, may as well just start putting pumpkins on all of my plants. There's no real downside to it. There's not much else for me to spend my sun on, so... <laughs> I guess I can spend them on, like, more melon bolts. Actually, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Or I could do, use, like, Gatling Peas. I, uh, I, think, I think melon bolts would be a better use of my sun. Oh, it's like rock. Long zombies. Wow, all these Zen Garden plants. This is great. is one nice looking lawn. Oh boy, Poco Zombies and Football Zombies. Nice. Alright. Well now we can start having some fun. So I will be taking Twin Sunflower because I have one more to turn it uh, into a Twin Sunflower. I'll be taking Garlic, Pumpkin, Spike Wheat, Spike Rock, Melon Pult. And at this point, not much else. So I think I'm going to take some instant death plants like Squash, Cherry Bomb, and Jalapeno. And that should be kind of fun. Or, alternatively... No, yeah, I, I, I think I like that. Let's rock. There we go. All of our twin sunflowers are already. I told you, some of the plants that you can buy from the shop are just crazy good.
That, if any zombie comes down the middle lane, like, they are so dead. Like, look at all their, I have to go through eight gloom shrooms on top of spike rock. Like, you're, you're not getting through that. I don't care who you are, you're not getting through that. Oh, that's right, the walnut repair doesn't affect garlic. I'll have to shovel and replant. Oh no. I'm literally not going to have any room left in the lawn. <laughs> and I love it. I suppose, like, on rounds where we don't have balloon zombies, I can replace my cacti with better plants. I may end up doing that. Uh-oh. That's not a sound I like to hear. Jack-in-the-box zombies actually could cause massive devastation. Just like that. One jack-in-the-box zombie just blew up a bunch of spike rock. That's actually quite bad. This is this is exactly why I consider jack-in-the-box zombies to be the most annoying zombies in the game. Even though, like, 99% of the time they're fine, when you're doing challenges like this, where you have, like, a massive lawn set, they can just snap their fingers and instantly destroy a massive amount of your lawn. Not fun. Wish I could take... I wish I could use Imitator to take, uh... Double spike rock. But alas, no. Wow. Again, most of the time, Jack in the Box zombies will just die incredibly quickly, but sometimes. Sometimes they just decide to blow up immediately. Wow. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Wonderful. Zombies approaching. Wonderful. Alright, I got a plan for this next. So what do we have? Oh, Disco Zombie! Now that's interesting. Disco Zombie ain't gonna last too long. And this is also part of the reason why I put pumpkins all over the place. Alright. So for this, Spike Weed and Spike Rock, because we're gonna need to replenish that. Pumpkins, in case we need to replenish that as well. Even though there are no uh, Jack in the Box Zombies. I'm gonna make a weird move here. Magnet Shroom, Gold Magnet Shroom, Marigold... Imitated Marigold, because I want to start making some money. And no balloon zombies, but we'll take Blower anyways, and Garlic. Ready, set, plant. Here we go. So we plant the Imitator, and he just kind of, then he turns into that, and oh hey, that's different. In the, in the iOS version, uh, Imitate Marigold looks exactly the same as a regular Marigold, but here it's actually black and white. Now that's, that's interesting. Did not know about that before. Yeah, I'm saying goodbye to my cacti. If any balloon zombies that come in the future, I'm just going to use pullover on them. I think at this point I can also probably say goodbye to some of my twin sunflowers. 
So I'm actually gonna put down another gold magnet shroom just so we can have two of them doing the job. You away, you away. These are still objectively bad plants, but I'm lazy, so I'm using them. the sound of a thousand tires popping. Those spike rocks in the front, they popped a lot of tires and they are still kicking. I love it. Ooh, look at all this money. Uh-oh. Garlic's getting a little sad. Actually, we might be about to finish this. <laughs> I don't know how many flags survival hard mode makes us do, but... You can also tell how beaten up a spike rock is based on how many of its, like, big spike big silver spikes it has. Like, if it has all three, it means it's at, like, pretty much full HP. If it takes a couple hits, then it'll lose, like, one of them. A couple more, it lose another then. And then when it's at very low HP, it'll have no none of those three main spikes up there. So, when once they get to the point where they don't have any of the three main spikes anymore, I will start shoveling them and replacing. But, I think there might only be one at this point that is like that. And it's hard to see with all the zombies standing on top of it. Yeah, so that one is missing one of its spikes, and this one's missing two of its spikes. So actually, we'll shovel away that one, because it is damaged. And the spike rock is already recharged, so, I mean, there's no real harm done. And I can shovel away that one, too, if necessary, but he'll last longer. And, yeah, as, as you can see, this, uh... It's kind of grossly overpowered. As I said before, gl gloom shrooms are disgustingly broken. Spike weed, or spike rock is kind of disgustingly broken. Oh cool, we finished the rival hard mode. And we get a trophy. You've unlocked a new survival mode. Survival hard in the fog, not looking, that one was not hard. That one was pretty easy, actually. We got a couple new plans for Zen Garden, though. I think what I will do for Survival Hard Mode is I'm not doing all five in one video. I'm going to split them up into separate videos, because it's taken a while, and I don't want another, like... I don't want another two-hour video on hands, even if I do speed it up. Yeah, two new Zen Garden plants. They could be literally anything. If they are duplicates of what I already have, I can sell the ones that we have and get some money. 
And wow, we actually got a good amount of money from doing survival hard mode. I know we got the reward at the end. The trophy always gives you some gems, but even so. Part of me wants to just sell some of these plants that I can't do anything with, like the Doom Shroom and the Magnet Shroom. At the very least, I want to grow that Tree of Wisdom to its full size, because that's not something I've ever done before, because that's not in the iPhone version. Alright, what do you... Oh, a second Cherry Bomb! Ain't that wonderful? We'll sell this one for $8,000. And a Chopper. Cool. Oh yeah, one thing I can do is I can arrange these in a different order. I like arranging these in like order that you get them in the game, so uh... Yeah, you can move them around with the gloves, so... Cherry Bomb, you go there. Sunflower, you go there. Walnut goes there. So let's see, the first row, uh, Snow Pea. Snow Pea, you go over here. Chopper, you go there. That's for Repeater, that's for Potato Mine. Whatever. Grave Buster, you go here. Can't really do anything with these. Then we got the mushrooms, but when we come into the daytime, it goes to squash next. We don't have squash, so then it'll be free Peter. And yeah, I mean that that kind that kind of works. I can also organize them based on like if I need to water them. We can lump them, all the ones I need to water together. So we can use the golden water again to get them all at once. We don't need to do that though. Alright. Well, before I spend all of my money on fertilizer, or for the tree, I need fertilizer for my Zen Garden plants. I could buy more marigolds, actually. Yeah. If we've got a couple episodes left to do, then I, I'm still gonna buy marigolds. Alright, let's feed our Tree of Wisdom some more. I've heard that Buckethead Zombies are take five times as many hits as regular ones. I didn't know it was exactly five times as many, but... I, yeah, they're definitely a lot tougher. I hear that typing mustache brings about a terrifying transformation in the undead. I already showed that off. Do multiple snow peas in a row slow zombies down more than just one? The sad but truthful answer is nay. The only time having multiple snow peas in a lane is, like, useful is if you've got a lot of zombies in the lane and you need to- you want to slow all of them down. Normal and in this game, normally one snow pea in a lane is enough to slow down pretty much all of the zombies. So, if you generally if you've got mobs of zombies and you want to slow them all down, Wintermelon is way better for that. <laughs> you know that zombies emerge from gravestones, right? So what's stopping you from get using grave busters to get rid of them in survival all night? Is it pride? I haven't tried nah. If you're looking for the inside info on how long the level is going to be, count the flags in the level meter. That'll set you up real nice. Yep. Roof cleaners. Classic items. Can't re recommend them highly enough. Best thing about them? They give you a shot at beating Pogo Party. You don't need them for Pogo Party, but they do help. If you're wondering if feeding a Hypno Shroom to a Dancer Zombie compels him to summon backup dancers for you, bet it all on yes. Bet on it. Bet on it. Make money fast by playing Survival Endless, then email me your bank account number. So Survival Endless is going to be the key for uh, making a bunch of money, eh? Going to hold you to that game. And we are out of time for this episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Next time we do Survival at Night hard mode. Again, probably going to be using Gloom Shrooms again. Because they're just disgustingly good. <laughs> Pretty... If... I will say this, if my remaining survival, like, hard mode strategies are just exactly what I did on that first one, then I'll probably speed them up and put them together. But if I actually do end up doing different strategies or need to adapt different strategies based on just everything, then I will separate them out. Well, so you'll have to keep your eyes peeled for the future for that. Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.